Kansas. Aside from the farm animals, the tornado that swept Dorothy off to a mysterious magical kingdom has left little behind. The farm that Uncle Henry and Aunt Em built is in ruins. Don't, Em, you're just torturing yourself. Come on now. But they'd lose the farm again if it would bring their Dorothy back. Em. She's gone. No one could have made it through a twister like that. Dorothy. The poor little thing never had a chance. That twister picked up everything in its path. Just blew it to kingdom come. Dorothy, the farmhouse, they just disappeared without a trace. Henry, Dorothy's alive. I just know she's Henry. I can feel it. And you don't know any such thing. I've seen the nasty work of tornadoes before. No one can survive them. Dorothy, did. you don't have to believe me. But somewhere out there, my Dorothy's alive. say that? Because she destroyed the Witch of the East. Hmm, true. Dropping houses is quite a trick. Yeah, I've never seen that one before. I wonder what else she can do. Anything she wants, most likely. Mm. I wonder where I am. This doesn't look like Kansas at all. Huh? Hey? Did she say Kansas? That's what it sounded like to me. What does Kansas mean? Don't ask me. I don't know. Strange. If this isn't Kansas, where in America is it? My dear... You're not in America. You're in the Land of Oz. Goodness, didn't you know? The Land of Oz? I've never heard of it. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> Would you please tell me what's so funny? <gasps> well, tell me. I'd like to laugh, too. Don't you know it's terribly rude not to share your jokes with others? No, no. Don't be angry, dear. We didn't mean to upset you. Let's have a little chat. That sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Come along. Come on, come on. Don't dawdle. Toto, here, boy. <laughs> Behold, my dear, the land of Oz, as far as the eye can see. <gasps> but where did Kansas go? That I couldn't tell you. The land of Oz is the only land I know. Now, Oz is divided into four countries. The east, the west, the south, and the north. One for each direction. Isn't that clever? <laughs> oh, uh, yes, yes, very clever. <clears throat> now, if the south is over there, mm -hmm. that makes the north uh, that way. The west must be there. So we're in the country of the east. Kansas was never like this. Each country used to have one witch. Don't they now? Of course not, my dear. You just destroyed one of them. I didn't mean to. Oh, don't worry. She was a very wicked witch indeed. I'm afraid her shoes are all that's left of her. Her most prized possessions. They have special powers. Special powers, are you sure? Well, of course I'm sure. Heaven's child, I ought to be. After all, I'm a witch myself. You're a what? Did I hear you correctly? Did you say you're a witch? Yes, but don't be afraid. I'm not a wicked witch. Far from it. You see, the witch of the north... That's me and Linda, the witch of the south, are good witches. Good, good, good. Does that mean the witch of the west is wicked? Through and through, my dear. Wicked as they come, which is why everyone here is so delighted that you've rid us of the wicked witch of the east. Thanks to you, we've lost a wicked witch and gained a good one. You. Mm -hmm. You. <laughs> but I'm not a witch. Really, I'm not. All this is an accident. I had nothing to do with it at all, honestly. Well, if you're not a witch, you're a sorceress, then. Or a girl wizard. Or a fairy, perhaps? No, I'm none of those. I'm just Dorothy. <laughs> Come on, Toto. Mm -hmm. Look inside. Mm -hmm. Definitely not a witch's house. Oh, Toto, Uncle Henry and Aunt Em must be terribly worried. And no one here seems to know how to help us. 
How will we ever get back to Kansas? Kansas? What is this, Kansas? Why, it's my home. I see. <laughs> is Kansas such a wonderful land? Oh, yes, I love it. I want to go back as soon as I can. I miss it already. Uh, I guess we all love our home, no matter where it is. But is Kansas that much more wonderful than the land of Oz? It's not that bad here, is it? Mm-mm. I haven't been here long, but it looks very nice. I just don't want Uncle Henry and Aunt Em to worry about me. You're a witch. Would you help me get back to Kansas? I'd be ever so grateful. Hmm. You're really sure that's what you want? Oh, yes, really. Huh? <laughs> there must be some way to get back. There must be. True, but the question is, do I know it? Now then, let me think. You mean, you'll do it? You'll help me get back home? I'm trying to remember. Mm. <coughs> Here goes. Shazam! <laughs> Shizzy bop, shizzy diddle, shizzy woo, shizzy diddle do bum, zap, zap, zap. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I said shizzy bop, shizzy diddle, shizzy woo, shizzy diddle do bum, zap, zap, zap. Oh, well, it was nice of you to try. You did it! You did it! Come out and look! I did it? Huh? Follow me! Hmm. Hurry, Dorothy, it's here. Oh, my. Fizzle ba, fizzle boo, fizzle whizzle, niddly do, fizzle wee, fizzle boo, fizzle wumba, zap, zap. Where did that come from? Uh, uh, ooh! Oh, it's enormous! Hmm. <gasps> Something's written on it. Yes, in some kind of code, my dear. I'm trying to read it. Oh, gosh, that looks like quite a job to me. Oh, all in a day's witchery. Hmm, <laughs> interesting. Mm -hmm. Yes, I see. Mm -hmm. You mean you can actually read all those little marks? Well, I can catch the general drift, dear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, well. Interesting indeed. My, my, my. We're having quite a day, aren't we? <laughs> um, could you please tell me what it says? It's a message, Dorothy, for you. Me? Are you sure? But I just got here. Nevertheless, you're who it's for. Does it say anything about Uncle Henry and Aunt Dan? Ah, oh, sorry, dear. They weren't mentioned at all. Ah, oh, don't look so sad, Dorothy. It's very exciting news. You're to go to the Emerald City. Hey? Oh! <gasps> oh, I'm so pleased for you, dear. But where is this Emerald City? Remember I told you that the Land of Oz is divided into four countries? Well, the Emerald City sits right in the middle, and... And what? And that's where you'll find the wonderful Wizard of Oz. The wonderful Wizard of Oz? He sounds very important. Will he be able to help me, do you think? Well, if anyone can help you, it'll be the wonderful Wizard. So off you go. But how do I get there? By wearing them. Huh? They will protect you on the long road to the Emerald City. Shazoo, zap, zoop! Oh, they feel so good! You said they had special powers. What did you mean? Just what I said. They're magic. Magic? Yes, as long as you have those on, they'll shield you from danger. After all, we don't want anything to happen to you before you see the wizard, do we? Oh, and I have something else for you, too. Oh, you do? Mm-hmm. My extra special protective kiss, just in case. Just in case? 
Now, you take this and go down Yellow Brick Road. You'll be there in, well, can't say for sure, but it starts right over there. Yellow Brick Road? reaches the Emerald City safely. Mm. There'll be danger. And evil out there. And monsters, too. It's a risky business, and Dorothy's only a little girl. True, it won't be easy, but she does have the shoes and my protective kiss to keep her safe on the journey. Besides, it's the only way for her to see the wizard. She's intelligent and brave. She'll be all right. I hope. These shoes are so beautiful, the way they sparkle and shine. They must be special. Oh, Toto, I can't wait to meet the wonderful Wizard of Oz. <laughs> you can't either, can you? Because he's going to help us get back home to Aunt Em and Uncle Henry. Look at the pretty sunset, Toto. It could almost be Kansas if it wasn't for the hills and the trees. Come on, we'll go a little further before it gets too dark. I suppose we better stop and find a place to sleep, Toto. Toto, where are you going? Don't get lost, Toto! What's he doing? What's wrong? <gasps> hello? Yes? Why, Dorothy, hello! Goodness, uh, how do you know my name? Peaches, guess who's here? <laughs> Dorothy, well, what an honor. You're famous throughout the land of Oz. Yes, you destroyed the Wicked Witch of the East. Only by accident. Of course, I of course. Come in. So, you're on your way to the Emerald City, then, are you? Mm-hmm. Which is convention? No, I'm going because I want to ask the wonderful Wizard of Oz to help me get back home. What? You're going to see the wizard? Oh, are you sure you should? He's very scary, you know. There must be some way for you to get back home without having to go and see him, Dorothy. The wizard? Phew. Besides, would it be so bad if you had to stay here? You've seen what a lovely place Oz is. Why not make it your new home? In fact, you could move in with us. You could even have your own room. We'd love to have you, and it's too risky for you to travel alone to the Emerald City. I'm not traveling alone. I have Toto. Hmm? Mm. Well, Toto is better than nothing, I guess. <laughs> Good, Good night, night Dorothy. Dorothy. Sleep, Sleep well. well. Good night, and thank you. Poor child must be exhausted. Mm. You think this Kansas of hers is a better place than Oz? Wouldn't matter if it wasn't. She's homesick. That's why she's going back. you change your mind, please? Yes, Dorothy. It's a terrible trip for a little girl to take on her own. That road's a menace. Toto or no Toto, it's just not safe, hmm? I'm sorry, but my mind's made up. Toto and I must see the wizard. <laughs> Thank you for everything. Huh? Well, goodbye. <clears throat> Bye, Dorothy. Good luck, dear. Bye, Dorothy. <laughs> I'm right behind you. Come on, Toto. 
You're tired, Toto. I think it's time for a nap. Lie down, go on. But I'm not tired at all, thanks to these shoes. It feels like I'm walking on air when I have them on. Oh, that looks like a flower of some kind. Hands off the corn! Oh, I'm very sorry. I didn't mean any harm. Wait a minute. Who said that? There's no one here. Huh. Hands off the corn. I must have imagined it. Why, I'm not even sure if this is corn or not. It's corn, all right, and don't touch it, because... Oh. Well, just oh. because. <laughs> Talking Scarecrow? How clever! Well, I can talk all right, but I wouldn't go so far as to say I'm clever. Oh, come now. You look clever enough. Oh? Well, looks aren't everything, I guess. After all, if I really were clever, I wouldn't be making such a mess of my job. Your job? I'm no expert, but if your job is to scare off crows, from the look of things, you scared them all but one. Oh, he's full, that's all. What? Oh, there's so many of them! See what I mean? All because I don't have a brain. I can't get rid of the wretched things. If you got down, you could chase them away. Do you know I'd actually thought of that? Trouble is, I haven't the slightest idea of how to go about it. It's very frustrating. Oh, it can't be that hard. I'll help you. Oh, would you? Don't worry if you can't think of how to do it either. It is a tough problem. But it's no problem at all. Just let go of the crossbar. Uh, let go? Yes, just lift your arms over it. Like this? Yes, uh. good. Now do the other one. Of course! Oh, but don't let go completely. What? Oh! <clears throat> oh. Should have thought of that, huh? No, it was my fault. I should have told you sooner. Are you all right? Oh, sure. That's one good thing about not having a brain. Doesn't hurt when you fall on your head. Oh, poor you. Let me help you up. Uh, well, you do know well, how to walk, don't you? I don't know. I've never done it before. It's awfully kind of you to help me this way. Oh, I'm happy to. By the way, my name's Dorothy. What's your name? I'm a scarecrow, so, uh, uh, I guess it's Scarecrow. I may have a head full of straw, Dorothy, but I do know that much at least. Well, Scarecrow, this is Toto. Hello there, Toto. He doesn't know what to think. <laughs> He's a bit like you, isn't he? Oh, no. At least he can think, Dorothy. I can't. That's the trouble. So we're going to see the wizard. Well, that's quite a story, Dorothy. It seems he's the only one powerful enough to help us. Anyhow, we'd better be on our way. Good luck with those crows, Scarecrow. Take care of yourself. Hmm, the Wizard of Oz. I wonder... Oh, wasn't Scarecrow nice, Toto? Hmm, if the wizard can help Dorothy, maybe he can help me too. You who? Dorothy! Toto, wait, Scarecrow's calling me. Dorothy, can I go with you? I. I. I want to ask the wizard for a brain! Am I walking too fast for you, Scarecrow? Oh, no, not at all. As long as I can hold on, I'm fine. I have no idea how much further it is. Neither do I, but if we stick together, we'll make it. Oh, I'm so glad you're coming too, Scarecrow. What is it? Oh, look! A pond! Finally! Aren't you thirsty? We've been walking all afternoon. I'm never thirsty. Good thing, too. I'm made of cloth and straw. If I drank water, I'd get all soggy and fall over. I suppose since I can't drink water, I never want to, if that makes any sense. Do you ever get hungry? You should eat at least. We have a long journey ahead. You'll need your strength. Oh, I feel strong, as strong as a straw man ever feels. What I want to feel now is smart, Dorothy. You see, the farmer who made me filled me with straw so he wouldn't have to feed me. But when you're filled with straw, even a thieving old crow is smarter than you are. He's not a man, he's made of straw! 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 Did it. Not only weren't they scared of me anymore, they used me as a lookout tower to watch for the farmer. It was humiliating. 
I'd strongly recommend another line of work, pal, and I'm gonna tell you why. Where we have brains, you've got chicken feed straw, pal, so we're too smart for you. <laughs> Since then, Dorothy, all I've ever wished for was to have a brain. Well, come on, you two. If we want to see the wizard, we have to get to the Emerald City. And we can't get there if we're sitting down here, can we? Don't worry, Scarecrow. You'll get your brain. Come on, let's go! Yes, come on! I'm glad Dorothy has a new friend to go with her. In a place like Oz, there could be all kinds of trouble waiting for her on the road ahead. <laughs>